Alabama team play. So you got Ike Burnhaus, Leslie Mann, and John Cena teaming up to block some cocks and cock blockers or blockers. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, guys? Thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for blockers. I really do appreciate it. Now, with blockers, with this film right here, when I first saw the trailer, I laughed my behind off. Um, I distinctly remember the scene where John Cena was putting the, um, I forgot what it was called, the funnel tube up his butt so they can do butt chugging. I thought this movie was hilarious, but I saw that trailer like many, many months ago and it just kind of fell off my radar. But as it's getting closer to release and I've seen even more trailers and more TV spots, you know, I was saying, okay, you know, it seems like it'll be okay. It seems like I'll have a few little laughs, but I, I just wasn't as excited as I was when I first saw the trailer. So, you know, so my expectations were, you know, in check. Now, as far as what the movie is about, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, Ike Byrne, host Leslie Mann, and John Cena, they are all three parents in this movie. And they all have three daughters, and they find out that their daughters are trying to have sex the night of prom. And that completely terrifies them, and they're trying to intervene. They are trying to do some investigation. They are trying to go... Um, you know, just be secret and, 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 and cock block basically, you know, so that's where the, you know, the adventure ensues. And so like, first off, I really don't like to compare movies entirely to others. I mean, because each movie, each film is trying to do their own thing, but the first five to 10 minutes of this movie, I could not help but to compare this movie to American Pie. We've all heard of American Pie came out in 99. To me, it's a classic. If you're in your 40s and higher, which I am not, if you feel that American Pie is a classic, uh, let me know down in the comment section below. But of course, that film was uh, the same premise. You have four uh, friends instead of three girls. You have four males in high school. They were trying to lose their virginity on prom night or before graduation, before they went to college, too. I'm not going to say which movie is better or worse until the end of this review. I don't think you guys were here for that. But as I was watching this movie, uh, Blockers, and I was seeing the characters interact with each other, I just was not able to, um, I, I, I'm just like, you know, why, why don't I care? You know, what, what is going on? Why does it feel like these characters and blockers are just kind of going through the motions? And that's just, I, I just didn't care about the characters. I just did not connect with them at all. But then I said to myself, well, Brandon, the three girls in this movie are not the main characters. They are not the main stars like they were in American Pie. The main stars in this movie are the parents, which was Leslie Mann, John Cena and Ike Bernhardt. So when I made that uh, recollection in my, you know, in my mind, I was watching it. It kind of reset my brain and I was able to enjoy a little bit more of myself um, because most of the comedy does come from adults. I mean, just imagine I don't have any children right now. Um, but if I did and they were the age, at the age of these people in this movie, I would be reacting the same too. We all know that kids have sex at young ages. I mean, it's pretty much inevitable. All you can really do is just try to give them as much information and train them and teach them just, you know, you know, all the, you know, you know, the repercussions of, you know, their decisions and, you know, what will come of that. So like, you know, it, it was funny there. I'm not, I can't not say that I relate, but I can necessarily put myself in their shoes, you know, as they're finding all this out. And it's funny. The movie is funny. There are a lot of m moments in this movie that are hilarious, but I cannot say that the film itself is hilarious. Now, the one actor that did steal the show, he was my favorite in this whole movie is John Cena. Uh, he stole the show. He was freaking hilarious. And what was just funny about him was his acting. He was a pretty decent actor in this movie. It was his comedy. You know, um, he, he had everything down, all the mannerisms, body language, uh, the, you know, the comedic timing, even if they did a hundred takes, you know, while they're shooting the film, you know, it was great. But what was this also funny is, you know, John Cena, you know, he's an actor, I guess he's a rapper too. And, you know, he popped on the scene for me with wrestling. He's, he's huge. The guy's freaking, he got muscles on, on muscles on muscles on muscles. So seeing this big muscular, you know, tough guy. And if you see the movie, if you've seen the movie blockers, you, you know what this means. But, you know, he, he just seems like a tough guy, but seeing him kind of just as a softy, you know, him getting emotional, not knowing how to control himself because he's, 
uh, you know, getting a taste of what his um, his daughter growing up is getting into, having sex and drinking and things like that. You know, seeing him emotion and crying and not knowing how to handle that. That was funny. You know, I laughed my butt off, you know, over and over, over again throughout the whole film. I burn Holtz and Leslie Mann. Um, you know, I laughed at them as well, just a little bit, but not as much. Um, but as far as the three main girls, I don't even remember their names. That's just kind of how unforgettable they are for me. And I don't know if it's just me and me not being able to relate to their characters because they were poorly written or because it's three women that are trying to have sex instead of males. Now, before you jump down my throat, like, oh my gosh, Brandon, I can't believe you said that. The film does address that. They, 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 the film does, this is a, this little, what I'm going to say here may be considered a slight spoiler, but the film does address the notion to where, wait a minute, why is it okay with society to where if a male, a young male is about to lose his virginity, is celebrated, you're like, hey, you're a man now, you know, you're high-fiving, but if a woman wants to lose her virginity, it's forbidden, you know, she may be perceived as a slut, or I was about to say charlatan, not a charlatan, or I mean, I was going to say a harlot or anything like that. You know, why is it, why, why is there a double standard? Well, I don't know the answer to that question. Um, you know, there's double standards on both sides. It could be because, you know, women are on the receiving end and it, the sex is always the woman's choice, you know? Um, but I did, I you know, like when I was watching American Pie, I was rooting for the guys like, Hey, I hope they lose their virginity. I hope they're, um, I, you know, I hope their wish or dreams come true, but I couldn't say that for the women. You know, I, I don't know. I just kind of felt weird. Like, yeah, I hope they get it tonight. You know what I'm saying? You know, so I, I just, you know, I mean that, and, you know, and the, the three young lady, lady actresses, you know, they were, they were fine. You know, I, I made a comment saying that that was possibly uh, poorly written. I don't want to go. I don't want to actually go that far. I just was not able to relate to their characters. Maybe, you know, I'm a male. I, that's obvious, you know, but, you know, maybe that's not for me. Maybe there's other uh, women out there, young or old, middle aged, whatever, that will be able to relate to these characters. Like, oh, my gosh, I remember that exactly when I was that age, um, you know, and I went through the exact same thing. But, you know, the, the characters, the three young ladies, I wasn't able to attach myself to them. Um, the three adults, I wasn't necessarily able to attach myself to them as well, but I can sympathize with them. I can't empathize with them, but I can sympathize with them. And John Cena, he was hilarious to me. Um, also in the film, uh, I almost forgot what I was going to say. The film felt rushed. Um, there was no development. There was no buildup. I think the first 20, 25 minutes, they're already headed to the prom. And so that may also tie into why I was not able to attach myself to the characters and just really didn't care about the outcome of this movie because you, you, the movie starts and, you know, they're friends and the adults are friends. I mean, it, you know, there was some dialogue like, hey, you know, our daughter's just friends. So I guess that makes us friends. And then you got like a little 20 second little montage of people going. Now, I don't even think you got that. So, you know, just everything felt rushed. I wanted more development between like, you know, the women, the, the three women in high school and like what their interests are and like how, you know, like, you know, in American Pie, I'm comparing it, you know, uh, I forgot one of the guys name. He's the one that actually had the girlfriend. Um, and was eating her out later on in the movie. But, you know, at one point in the film, I remember this, he was just like, man, you know, I'm, I'm tired of getting hand jobs and I've been dating this person for, um, well, no, I, I take that back because actually one of the main girls in the house, she kind of had the same line of dialogue too, about how long she was dating, um, you know, her current, current boyfriend in the film. But just, I don't, I don't know. I mean, so I, I take back what I was just about to say, but I was, I was going to say that I wish I had more development between the characters in this film, like, you know, before they had sex and, you know, what their likes and dislikes were, but that was actually in the movie. So I take that back, but still, I just not, was not able to relate to them. Um, but then again, the movie, I don't want to say the movie is predictable. I don't, I don't want to say the film is predictable, but there was just no climax. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there was a climax, but it was anticlimactic. There were just also some things that were just like over the top for me. Uh, this film is rated R. Uh, I don't have anything, I don't have anything against rude or crude, you know, behavior, but some of the sex acts in this movie was just like, okay, nobody's going to be having sex like that, uh, in a parking lot. Uh, let alone in that position with tons of people around, you know what I'm saying? That's just not going down like that. There was also a scene at the end where there's a bunch of high school kids at a very nice high end hotel 
okay, you know, kids do that. I did it when I was in high school. Went to a party at a hotel or motel a couple of times. But they, they're having it, like, not on the balcony, not in the room where they can't get caught. They're having it, like, in the middle of the foyer, like, on the balcony, like, inside to where everybody can see. I mean, a cop just has to go inside the hotel and, like, oh, look, there's underage kids drinking, smoking weed, doing this. There's some ass chicks over there. So I was just kind of like, okay, I understand that the writers and the directors of this film are trying to make it a little raunchy just to make things a little bit more exciting. But, you know, you have to draw the line somewhere. And there were just like a bunch of like random uh, or, or just like a few s- scenes of randomness here and there that just didn't have anything to do with each other. I mean, like there was this one um, and p- people going to say I'm racist for saying this, but there was like there was an Asian character just because I said Asian. Uh, there was an Asian character that was a lesbian in this movie. She was cute. Her dialogue in this movie was like, I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, kids say the darnest things in high school as well. But if somebody that I don't know well in high school comes to me and we're just having a conversation, I know of them, but I don't know them. I'm not just going to spill out all of my sexual encounters of the past and how great it was. Like, yeah, I grabbed a penis once and it felt like a dead snake or I did. It's just, you know, I was just like, and then there was another scene where she came in trying to be like a superhero or something like that. That just, I mean, imagine like what I'm doing right now. I'm talking about the movie blockers. So imagine if Superman comes, just pops up right here, says a corny line and pops off the screen. She had a scene like that. That was just like, why was that in the movie? And I just did not understand it. But so, guys, like uh, the film was somewhat anticlimactic for me. Um, I was not able to attach myself to the characters for the most part. Um, other than the adults, I was able to sympathize with them. But it was funny. And I did laugh. There were a lot of people in the theater that laughed harder than I did. But there were a number. Of, you know, I, there was not a time to where I was like, OK, that joke didn't land. No, th- you know, the movie was funny from beginning to end. It wasn't like, you know, uh, American Pie funny or Hangover funny, but the movie was funny. I mean, I think you should definitely go see it, uh, especially if you already planned on it. You may not want to, you know, pay for the most expensive ticket or whatever, but, you know, if you want to go midday where it's not that many people, you know, ticket prices are cheaper, you know, I recommend it. If I had to rate blockers out of a one out of 10, oh, this is hard. Um, because I looked on Rotten Tomatoes right before I hit record to see what the percentage was. And I'm like, Brandon, do not let that sway your vote. I'm going to give this a 6.5 out of 10. Yes, a 6.5 out of 10. And that is a positive rating. Like I said, it was funny. But guys, that is just my opinion on blockers. Have you seen blockers yet or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on or have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. If you don't, that's fine. But you can also subscribe to my channel. And also go to my website. Check me out there at Book Market and also look me up on social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All that good stuff. It's right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning into my opinion slash review for Blockers. Starring uh, Leslie Mann, Ike, Bern Holtz, and John Cena. And let me go ahead and give a shout out to the director. This is her directorial debut, Kay Cannon. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.